What's going on everyone? Welcome to a in-car, hopefully the last in-car review. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about Violent Night, the newest film from Dead Snow's director Tommy McCullough. Uh, this of course is a uh, violent R-rated action film uh, that stars David Harbour as the titular uh, character Santa Claus. And uh, he's an individual that's down on his luck. He's an alcoholic. He doesn't believe kids believe him anymore. It's very much a play on the fact that everybody orders from like places like Amazon and you know FedEx and Walmart. They don't really you know uh, the things about Santa Claus are you know a little bit different than they used to be. And so therefore, this is a film about what would happen if Santa Claus became. <laughs> very just kind of uh not really caring anymore i guess you could say so with that said um i went into this movie not really expecting much out of it to be fairly honest from the trailers it looked like it was gonna be a diehard movie with santa claus that they were gonna give uh santa claus a very uh r-rated spin i guess you could say for my honest review of this movie uh, that's pretty much what you get it's a movie where you know santa claus is a badass he's a guy who is basically there to uh, kick ass, take names, or <laughs> chew bubblegum, but he's all out of taking names, so he just kicks ass and chews bubblegum. It's fine. It has no plot. It rips off Die Hard and Die Hard 2. It's very, very violent. This is not a movie you take the you know, take the kids to see. It's a you know very coarse. Like I said, John Leguizamo plays the, one of the main bad guys in this movie. He's you know, a very stock, atypical bad guy has Beverly D'Angelo. You'll know those people from like Hardy Boys and of course the boys itself. It's still a fun movie. It really is. It's a movie that's worth watching on its merits alone. David Harbour is fun as heck as Santa Claus. He kicks ass. You know, it's a movie that I don't expect to win awards. I expect it to be, you know, probably a 60, 70% near that on Rotten Tomatoes just because of its fun nature, its 80s action style. It has a lot of quips and humor. It has a lot of things that you expect. An action comedy, I guess you could say. It doesn't do anything different. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't rock the boat. It doesn't change things up. It's a movie that you really feel just goes by the book it doesn't really want to do anything different but i think the fact that the, i think the fact that it harkens back to like home alone and die hard and i think it's you know being a fun little christmas movie with a lot of violence and gore and you know harkening back to all those films you remember i think that's what makes this movie work i guess you could say it's not a very long review because there really isn't much to say on it you if you know what you're going to go into expecting especially with a film like this you're going to get exactly what you expect and that's all you can ask for, really, to be fairly honest. It's not a movie I love. It's not going to be my top 10 worst. It's not, definitely not my top 10 best. But it's a movie that I think if you have the right mindset, if you go in knowing that it's not going to be a very good movie, that it's going to have a lot of plot problems, that it's going to consist of a lot of issues when it comes to, you know, just going from story beat to story beat to story beat, things just kind of pop up just here and there, just out of the blue, and weird things start happening, and... You know, the fact that, like, there's no real kind of substance to the character development. I think you'll have fun with it. I did. I mean, I can't hate on it for that. But I just, it's just not a very good movie. <laughs> it's just how you got to look at it. It's another spinoff or another, you know, another diehard movie. That's all I can say. So, with that said, that's kind of where I leave it. Like I said, you know, David Harbour is badass in it. He gets to have, like, a really shiny moment, as they usually do in this film. But just know going in that you're not going to get anything new. You're not going to get anything that, you know, twists and turns and spins the table. And there's not really anything that you haven't seen coming before. So, but with that said, that's going to be my take on Violent Night. You know, like I said, not very long reviews. So, it's fun. It's what it is. So, anyways, with that said, if you decide to see Violent Night, let me know in the comments below what you think of the film. Did you like it? Did you not like it? All that good stuff. But with that said, thank you so much for watching my review for Violet Night. Uh, with that said, if you like what you see on this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell on top of the phone coming next. If you liked this video, awesome, hit that like button. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of reviews, you'll see uh, an actual set with not me in my car anymore. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.